We got a Ford Raptor up on the lift today and we're gonna be installing this coilover adjustment system from SVC. Check it out. This 2018 Raptor is awesome. First, I really like the color. About a year ago, maybe even a little bit longer, we installed Eibach coils on this thing because the customer wanted to fit 325, 60, 20 Nitto Ridge grapplers on these method wheels. I wanna show you these wheels because the owner owns a paint and body shop and painted them to match this gray color. Check them out. They look killer, right? These are the methods they, he actually painted them that gray to match. These are a 20 by 10, negative 24 offset. So that went really well. There was a lot of trim in uh, to make it actually fit when he turns, um, but for the most part, he got it exactly where he wants it. So he came back to us a year later now and said, Mike, I need just a half an inch more of suspension lift height. So we uh, opted to go with these SVC, they're made by SVC Off-Road, they call them their coilover adjustment system. These things allow you to lift or lower the ride height of your Raptor. Now this would be a 2015 and newer Raptor because the older Raptors actually had an adjustable spring seat uh, using snap rings. So a little bit different than this. This is actually threaded. So you can see that the coil spring seat can go up or down. Travis has this first one already disassembled. So you can kind of see what the bare strut looks like or the bare coil over. As we already mentioned, this is the factory. I mean, this is the iBox spring that we're gonna use. And then we're gonna set this, we're gonna replace this lower spring seat with this one from SVC. You may be not able to see it, but there's a little snap ring inside there. And that snap ring is gonna sit inside this groove, right on top there. And then it's got some special little Allen keys that'll get threaded in right there and hold this thing in place. Now, one thing we wanna make sure is that, of course, the iBox springs already add some lift to the front, and we're gonna really just be using these to fine tune because you can't just add this, you know, two inches of lift or whatever it is, and then crank these up for another two inches of lift. That is no good. You'll end up wiping out your axle shafts, your control arms will have a horrible angle and you'll have no suspension travel. So in this specific application, we're just using these to fine tune exactly what ride height he wants. And it's just talking maybe a half of an inch. On this build, we're gonna also be doing some different lift blocks in the back just to give it a little bit more lift in the back and keep it level. Over here, Travis is disassembling the other strut. So let's go check that out and see exactly what's going on to take that thing apart. So here we are working with Travis. We've got the strut in our strut compressor and he's gonna be compressing this thing so that we can easily remove the coil to take it all apart. Once we get this thing apart, we're gonna be working to make sure that we do everything at the same time. These shocks do require that you disassemble them slightly and then recharge the nitrogen when we're all done. We're gonna walk you through the whole process and show you what it's like to give you a little bit more lift on your Raptor. Raptor all wrapped up and I think the thing turned out really awesome but this project didn't go exactly as I had planned 
As I mentioned early in their video, the SVC coilover adjustment system can be used to infinitely raise and lower the adjustment of the suspension. Not infinitely, but you know, within reason. Now, because we use the SVC CAS coil adjustment system with the IBOX springs, we actually had to set the coil adjusters as low as they would possibly go. So that means we could only, even with them set as low as they could go, it still lifted the truck a little bit more than what we wanted. So we actually netted about an inch more lift over what the IBOX springs already provided. Now, we also at that same time, because we weren't expecting that much lift, installed a block in the back that only added a half of an inch of lift. So the truck really had the Cali lean going on and that is not what the customer wanted. So we ordered some four inch blocks and we removed those blocks and installed the new four inch blocks that were made by ReadyLift. So, like I said, not all projects go exactly as we planned, but I think we made the most out of it. And all in all, we got exactly what the customer wanted. A little bit more lift so that the tires don't rub and the thing's gonna handle and perform well. Let us know what you think about this Raptor. Let us know when your projects didn't go exactly as you had planned in the comment section below. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook for some of the coolest projects that we have because we're posting awesome stuff every day. Thanks for watching, have fun.